first method we're going to use is the factorization method by trial and error. 3x squared can only be 3x times x because 3 is prime. Negative 35 can be negative, let's see, positive 7 times negative 5 or negative 7 times positive 5. We're not going to consider 1 and 35 because there's no way we're going to get it as a sum even with different signs. So 3x can be 3, 3x squared can be 3x times x. We need to play with 7 and negative 5. See if we can get 8 as the sum. So 3 times 5 will be 15. 7 times 1 will be 7, so it's negative 7 times 1. We're going to have 15 minus 7 is 8, the middle term. So it's 3 times 5, positive 5, and 7, negative 7 times 1x. So negative 7x plus 15x, 8x, which is the middle term. Correct answer is 8, 3x minus 7. The second method that we're going to use is the, the AC or grouping method. We're going to multiply A by C and A is equal to 3, C is equal to negative 35. Therefore, we'll get 3 times negative 35, which is negative 105. Now, if the expression is factorable, the product will be equal to negative 105, and the sum will be equal to 8, which is the coefficient of the middle term. 105 is 3 times 35, and 35 is 5 times 7. We're going to play with 15 and 7, trying to get 8 as our sum. 15 and 7, 15 plus 7, so 7 must be negative, we'll get negative 105, and 15 minus 7 will be 8. Let's rewrite the expression, 3x squared plus 8x minus 35, we're going to split 8. 8x using 15 and negative 7. Therefore, 8x will be 15x minus 7x. 15x minus 7x and we'll keep 3x squared. We'll add negative 35. Now, this expression is factorable by grouping. The GCF is 3x. We have 3x times x plus 5. The GCF is negative 7 minus 7 times x plus 5. Factor by grouping. The GCF of the newfound expression is uh, 
X plus 5. X plus 5 times 3X minus 7. 3X minus 7 is one of the factors.